New at 11, a first of its kind ceremony honoring our veterans. It has been 77 years since they fought in the Battle of Midway, helping the Allies win World War II. 10 News reporter Cassie Carlisle was on the flight deck as they passed the torch to the next generation. The ceremony evolves so that as the veterans of the Battle of Midway pass, their stories are kept alive. We'd like to recognize the family of those Battle of Midway heroes who are no longer with us. As the list Captain Harold Heisel of those remembered <laughs> grows longer, the stories he was rescued from the next morning become fewer. I looked back and looked up and pulled my gun up to try to shoot him and the turret stopped working and the gun stopped working. And so I prayed to defend the Constitution of the United States. The first ever Pass the Torch ceremony on the USS Midway matched a sailor about to go into boot camp with a veteran who fought in the battle that turned the tide in World War II. He was a doctor in the Navy and I'm actually going in as a hospital corpsman. A lasting moment for Paige Rodriguez. We got to have that little moment to share and it was just us and I thought that was really an incredible opportunity. And an opportunity to share the wisdom he hopes to pass on to the newest members of the family. Realize that the Navy has a great part in the defense of America. As they embark on their journey with the responsibility to share the stories before them to future generations. I think it's extremely important, just like learning about 9-11 and just like learning about um, World War I, World War II, all of that because we wouldn't be where we are today if we didn't acknowledge what has gotten us here. Paige starts boot camp on August 12th. Reporting on the USS Midway, Cassie Carlisle, 10 News.